Welcome guys, my name is Sebastian. This is a video about an EGR valve. We're gonna talk about what it's for, what it does, and um, what are the disadvantages of the EGR valve. So in a diesel engine combustion process, you're, you're producing NOx, which is nitrous oxides, and soot, diesel particulate matter. And the more efficient the engine is, the higher the temperature it operates on, the more NOx you're gonna produce. On the opposite side, you have cooler running engines are less efficient, therefore producing more soot. And soot is pretty much unburned fuel. Um, so we want to get rid of uh, both of those. So how we get rid of it, we redirect um, the exhaust gases back into the EGR cooler, through the EGR valve, back into the intake and uh, the com combustion chamber. The amount of gases redirected back is determined based on the engine conditions and the driving conditions. So it could be anywhere between um, 30 to 40%. Um, the disadvantages of that are you're introducing dirty, cooler air back into the process. Uh, and we remember uh, engines like to run hotter uh, and have clean, nice air to help the combustion. And you're also coating the intake and the combustion chamber with a layer of soot. So if you took it apart, you would see a, a carbon buildup on the intake and the combustion chamber. That also contributes to that soot ending up in your oil, and then oil uh, passes, uh, passes uh, through your uh, rings and contributes to your um, premature engine wear. So it might accelerate your engine wear. Um, that's how the EGR valve pretty much works. Uh, we're gonna in the next video we're gonna talk about the DPF filter and what it does. Um, so look out for that video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Um, drive safe and thank you for watching.